I participate in Las Village. I participate in track and field, flow hockey, basketball, and I'm doing bocce. What they can learn from me is about being kind to each other, respect each other, and be nice to people. I have faith as being independent. I have faith because I got my own place. I've been there for a while now. So that really challenged me. I did it. So I'm happy with myself. I have a job. I've been there for 10 years. And I have my big anniversary. And I love it there. I, I'm in, uh, I'm doing the mail room. It's pretty busy. You know, she's always wanted that. And that was, I feel, our goal, to make her as independent as possible. And she's proven that she can be independent. A lot of the teachers early on told us she would plateau at a certain point and then mm -hmm. she's not gonna learn anymore. Well, but that's not true. That's not true for anybody. Right? Well, I used to do the gal club that helps me um, helps me interact with people with my speeches because I like to inspire people with my speeches. It's like really good impact for everybody. Because I want I want to be heard. Like get my name out there and stuff. I used to be called that back in high school. I did not like it. And it's not nice to say to people. And that word really gets to me a lot. It's really hurtful to say to people. My favorite part of being on bonus play is when I, my brother got married on the show. After my brother Dante got married on the show, it's one of my favorites. And my second favorite is meeting Adam Lambert, my second favorite. And I conquered, and um, my other favorite, I get to conquer my fears. That really helps me a lot since the show. It helps me overcome obstacles. We did the show mainly because we wanted people to understand people with Down syndrome. People were starting to realize you can do things even if you have Down syndrome. I had remembered for um, by that I am kind, and I'm being remembered by getting myself um, get myself out there. I want to be heard um, by a lot of people. I want to be heard by a lot of people. I say I want kindness and inclusion, acceptance. We definitely credit Special Olympics with, with yeah. a large portion of oh, yeah. helping Rachel become the person she's become. Yeah. yeah. No question about that. It helped our lives too. You know, we moved here. We didn't know anybody. And you beat you beat so many friends in Special Olympics. Parents, coaches, the kids. Oh yeah. It's just the greatest experience and the most fun that you could have your kid go through and yourself. You learn a lot.